Right, here we go, lads. Back today with another episode of Club and Country. It's episode number eight, and we've got to speed things up, man. We've got to kickstart this season now. It took us seven bloody episodes to get out of the first trance window, all right? So today, no more messing around. Four games in the episode, West Brom at home, Sheffield United away, Leeds at Ellen Road, and the Los Angeles rivalries. They've got LAFC at the Stub Hub Centre as well. So no nattery on, let's just kick on with it. First game today, West Brom and Jalby at home, on the back of the win over QPR by a goal to nil in the last game. Let's Let's make it back-to-back -back wins. Come on, LA Galaxy. Let's speed this up. Awful start to this game. 13 minutes in. Can't string passes together at the moment. Just continuously going astray. Well, that's sort of like every game in FIFA 19 for me. No, 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 no. Jeez, how many goals this season do you concede and score from crosses? They've got to tone this down, man. It's so OP. Timothy! Over the bar. Al Robson Carnu back to Jake Livermore. Now Gareth Barry to Jerry Rodriguez. The passing so accurate, but Gibbs gives it away. Yedlin beats him to the ball. And now Jordan Morris as the speedsters link up and DeAndre is released down the right hand side. Good first touch. Rolls it into Roldan. Pegs it back. Oh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful little LA Galaxy goal. Half an hour in, we're back on level terms. And it's Tyler Adams scoring his first goal for the club. What a move. That's what I'm talking about. None of your crossing, Lark. Just wonderful little incisive passing. Oh, yeah, the extra pass there was glorious. Into Tyler with the finish. 1-1. Get in. I mean, I'm saying that. I think four of our six goals came from set pieces to start the season off, so I can't complain that much. DeAndre trying to turn Gibbs and finds Christian Roldan. Captain now looking to play it back to DeAndre. He's not made the right run, though, really. So we'll poke it back inside and then go back out wide again. Roldan, nice turn. Fakes his man. It's the Gooch. Oh. Man, this second half has been a total letdown. First half was all right. We, we played a little bit better. But uh, in the second half, there's been basically nothing going on at all. And that'll do it. 1-1 one, one the final score. We'll take the point. But that, that was terrible, that second half. If you were to look at the individual shots, they all came in the first half. I don't think there was a single shot in the second half. Man, the match Tyler Adams, though. Uh, the, the goal we scored was probably my favourite goal of the season so far. Lovely little build-up and uh, a good finish for his first goal for the Galaxy. So, 1-1 one, one, and uh, we'll take it, I suppose. But uh, just before we dive into the second game, which is uh, Sheffield United away at Bramwell Lane, I do want to quickly discuss the international management job. Uh, now, of course, in club and country, we manage the country as well as the club, obviously. Uh, and uh, in certain saves, I've taken the job at different uh, different times during the season. But uh, with any Galaxy, what I think I might do is, because I don't believe they're in the Copper America in 2019 uh, America uh, I think I might take the job about three quarters of the way through our debut season so around this time around mid-April because uh, I think they'll have the gold cup to play in uh, at the end of the season so that we don't have to play any friendlies or anything like that and we'll be able to pick our squad for our first national tournament come the end of the season so yeah we will take it this season be about three quarters of the way through around this time in mid-April and there we go potential international management jobs and uh, it's Finland and Wales not quite what I was looking for. Obviously, I do know we can get it from the catalogue. That's what we will do. But I'd, I'd like the idea of getting given it naturally. I've only been given the job in a club and country save once before, and that was on our debut one of Racing Santander in Spain. But that took like a hundred episodes to get the job. So it'll be interesting to see if they give us a job before we get it ourselves. But uh, I think we'll have to take out the catalogue. Hey, and Jameson's back. Lovely. Right then, here we go. Second game of the four today. Sheffield United away at Bramwell Lane. And this is the importance of squad depth. This game comes just three days after our draw with West Brom and three days for the game at Ellen Road as well. We need to rotate our side so often this season. So we need a really strong, fixed squad. So Sheffield United away. Loads of change for the game. And hopefully we'll get a win here. Put us back in the playoffs and go back into the top six. Come on, the Galaxy. Bring it back Jameson now. back from injury, leading this second unit. I love this guy. He's brilliant. i got to keep Jameson throughout the series. I don't care what his potential is. He needs to stay with us. Oh, I could have released him as well. It's not just the hair I love about him. He just, he's, he's got the hustle. He's got the hustle. I know he had a nice passing goal against West Brom, but the passing in this year's FIFA, I've got to say, a few people also commented as well, they're really struggling with it. It does feel a lot like early FIFA 16. So often the pass is either under hit or over hit, and often they don't go to the player you want them to go to. It's, it's, the, the direction as far as I'm concerned has to be 100%. Otherwise it's going to go astray. Clark for Sheffield United with a lovely free ball to Ender Stevens down left hand side. In goes across. It's a brilliant cross. Crosses in this game. How do you stop them? Pontius over the top to Carlton. And a nice little flick through ball to Adams into Jameson. And the captain will play that wide towards Steres. 
Steres to DeAndre, through the gap to Morris, Spies is linking up here. These, these two have got a great chemistry. They're often linking up. Cross the work of my opponents today. How about for us? Jay Jonah, Jameson, baby. Sheffield United won, LA Galaxy won. The leader of this second unit has done it again. Back from injury, back with a bang, and crosses again. They just, they're, they're, they're the way to score in FIFA 19. Get the ball down the wide areas, cross it in, and it's a goal every time. Jay Jonah, Jay. Did anyone uh, buy the new Spider game for PlayStation this year? I have to say, I don't tend to play that many video games outside of FIFA or Football Manager now. But uh, I, uh, I bought this one because I was excited for it. Because Spider-Man's like the only superhero I like. And I've got to say, that's a game that's worth 55 quid. It was brilliant. And here is Jameson. Back to Pontius. And he goes to cross. Oh, what a goal. No, 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 no. Lino, Lino, Lino. Don't disallow that one. Oh, that is gutting. Pontius the delivery and Adams. Oh, he's offside. No complaints. No complaints. But that was like a, that was like a, not a scorpion kick, but like a, a, a karate back kick thing that went in. No complaints. He's definitely offside. But look at the technique. Oh, yes. Latan would have been proud. Before he swapped into Newcastle, that's what he was teaching the youngsters on the training pitch. And, uh, and yeah, Sheffield United back in front, and it's a goal from another cross. What a shocker. Seriously, a turn down crossing effectiveness. It's just ridiculous. It's a great volley. It's a lovely ball into the centre, but it, it's just too easy. Good after. Trading by a goal, but uh, very action-packed, that one. Throw for the Galaxy. Yedlin to the feet of Morris. Gives it in back. Oh, oh, that's what I mean. Seriously, simple passes like that. They've still got to be perfect. Kitchen receives the ball. Late chance for the Galaxy. Reggie sent down the right. Crosses have worked all game long for both teams. Cannon. Deep cross. Jameson. Oh, what a save. Dean Henderson. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dean Henderson on loan from United. What a save at point blank range. Three defeats in our last four games now as well. Troubling times for the Galaxy. Started off so well. Now we're definitely going to be outside the playoffs still. And probably sinking down the mid-table. This has been a tough patch of form. You know, I did say this year it will be very, very tough to be able to go up automatically in this new-look championship division. And playoffs is probably, realistically, the best we can hope for. Right now, just three wins in our first eight games. Only 12 points picked up from a possible 24. It's been very tough. Right, third to four games today on the weekend. LA Galaxy away at Ellen Road to take on Leeds United. They've only had one win from their first eight games. Only above the relegation zone on goal difference. So we've got to target the three points here. Return to winning ways ahead of the LA rivalry in the week. So come on the Galaxy. Need to bounce back here. Ugh, awful starts this game. Look at that in the top left. Leeds United, 100% bars accuracy. Can't get it off them. I can't put two passes together in this game either. This is just terrible. Way up through the gap to Christian. And there's a man running through there in the Gooch. Gucci. Gucci. Oh, go down, Morris. There was contact. The controller vibrated. He was tripped. He was tripped, but he stayed on his feet. Too honest. Don't think it would be a penalty anyway, but at this rate, I'll take anything. This first half's been atrocious. 62% possession. It's like playing Barcelona every single game. That's a lovely ball through to Alioski down left-hand side. Yedlin can't catch up. You don't say that very often. Oh, Jesus. I mean, even when it's a cross that comes into the centre, if it's not a direct goal from a header, it's an assist from a header. Jeez, that was unbelievable. I want to see Leeds' pass accuracy in the match stats at full time. That was nuts. Look at this in the match highlight section. Just the goal. That's all there was to report. And these stats are an embarrassment. Two shots and two on target compared to zero and zero. 64% possession compared to 36. And 90% pass accuracy compared to 66. Oh, that's just nuts. I mean, I'll give Sean to see the man the match because the game winner was a lovely volley in fairness. But in the dressing room, Bielsa's probably going to single him out and say, three misplaced passes, Connor. Three misplaced passes. You drop for the next game. It's not good enough. Right, so we're going to jump into the fourth and final game of today's episode. We do indeed take on LAFC in the Los Angeles rivalry. And they are red hot right now. They are high flying. They're in third place, just one point and two places behind Stoke City who are top of the table right now. Big, big game. And after no wins in our last three, just one win in our last five, I do believe we've got to get it sorted here so come on la galaxy need a return to winning ways won't switch formation just yet but if we don't win this game i'll switch to a four at the back system in the next episode like some of you guys have been asking for so come on the galaxy got to win this big battle here Come on, it's the so first El Trafico of the series. I don't want to lose this as well. It's been that bad of a run. It will be capped off if we lose the derby too. Come on, the Galaxy. No, not another cross. Not another cross. Anything but another cross. Chance on the break. Yedlin pokes it through to Roldan. And the captain feeds Jordan. 
And now DeAndre. Oh, lovely time ball. Morris. Go oh, off the post. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, well done. No, 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 no. Oh, Zach, well saved. I can't play five-yard simple passes. The AI can play, like, 40-yard pingers across the pitch as if it's nothing. Ball inside. Shot comes in. Oh, Stefan, what a save. Yedlin keeps the ball in play. Cross fields it to Tyler. And Tyler looking for a bit of space here to play it through. It's a good ball as well. It's fine. Ariola. Gooch. Oh, brilliant stop. Come on, come on, come on. Roll down to corner. Weyer can't flick it on. It will drop to Ariola. Oh, oh, what a strike. Ariola into the back of the net. And there is the breakthrough. Galaxy take the lead. Get in. This El Trafico has been all right, you know. Lots of chances, lots of shots. Some good saves. And now a goal as well. Half an hour to go. And that header just off target. This game's not done yet. Got to stay tight defensively between now and the end of the game. But also, I want to keep on attacking as well. Not put our foot on the ball and look for a second goal. Because we can get it. We've played well out there. Gucci to Weya. And it's cleared. But it's not fully dealt with. Because Yedlin's going to track down that loose ball and win it first. And now Yedlin. Oh, lovely. DeAndre. Oh, it's a brilliant cross as well. And it'll drop to Roldan. And he's tackled. I ran into those man. But it's still not fully clear. Tyler. Oh, Tyler Adams, second goal in four games, 2-0 LA Galaxy, get in. Oh, the pressure is relieved and it comes with a win in El Trafico. Rolled down, ran into trouble, kept the chance alive. Adams gets it out of his feet. Oh, beautiful arrow goal into the back of the net. Two in four for Tyler. Bought him in for defensive coverage, not really to be a goal scorer, but at the moment, he's one of our top scorers in the team. Oh, well, there we go, finally, our first win since the QPR game on the first of the month. We win our first ever El Trafico. And that was a good display as well. Good to get a clean sheet too. Really good game, that one. Glad to come out on top. Excellent game. Uh, both teams put seven shots on goal. Uh, both teams had... Oh, no, we had one less shot on target. A tinty time more possession. But that that was a really good game, that one. Very, very fun El Trafico. And I'm really looking forward to our rivalry with LAFC throughout the entire series as well. But I think it might have matched to Zach Steffen uh, in goal. He made some really crucial saves out there. And uh, his first clean sheet since the QPR game. And uh, he he played well. Some really, really good stops. But that was today's episode of Club and Country, guys. We end on a high note. Delighted with that. And uh, we will return in the very next episode with some more key games. As hopefully, we'll manage to get a back-to-back uh, -back win for the first time in a long time. And also get back into the playoffs as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome, awesome evening. Uh, much love to you all. And I'll see you for the next episode of Club and Country very soon. Get in.